going to be roughing in a drain for a bar sink from uh, on the other side of that wall over here to this four inch main line uh, in the basement here. Probably the worst of it's going to be, uh, you know, getting my fitting in there and moving that clean out up. I'll get to that in a second. But um, like I said, the bar sink uh, cabinet and all kinds of stuff going in this corner. And then there's going to be a, you know, a bar and all kinds of nice stuff back here. But just roughing this in, just be careful. You don't cut any... Uh, you know, electric lines or pipes or anything and uh, get this insulation out of the way and uh, get my mark from one side to the other. It's about 12 feet. I need roughly a quarter inch per foot of fall. So that gives me about a three inch drop. I already got my fitting mark there. Um, and then gonna, like I said, gonna cut it on the top there, leave a little bit of pipe so I can move this thing up. Uh, on the left side there, I'm going to drill an oversized hole for my inch and a half uh, drain line. None of these walls down here are weight bearing, so an oversized hole is not a big deal. Like I said, it all gets covered with uh, cabinet and whatnot. So uh, when you're cutting this main line, make sure you got a, a new sharp, um, I use a metal blade. Uh, make sure it's nice and thick and stiff uh, so you can cut that straight across as much as possible you don't want a crooked cut on those um clean up your pipes real good and then prime it with your um, primer uh big gobs of uh abs glue on both sides of the fitting and uh, twist that thing in there to where it's good and then on this one i had to choke down that that side there uh i have a little uh, two inch to inch and a half uh, bushing in there to choke it down i couldn't find a four inch to inch and a half so if you need to do that um the part i cut out with the clean out i'm going to measure up and add cut an extra half to three quarters out of that pipe so i got room to um, maneuver that that fitting in there uh, as far as that that rubber that four inch rubber boot goes there i i thought i was recording the whole time and obviously i wasn't so kind of missed missed that part but after you get it in uh, just make sure you tighten it up real good and i'll show you here what i did i just uh, made sure all the burrs and stuff were off both sides of that pipe and then uh, your four inch um, boot here make sure you loosen those uh, strap clamps all uh, you know loosen them up real good so you so you got plenty of room uh, to squeeze this thing on here because it's going to fight you the whole way. Uh, what I did, uh, soapy water, uh, lube this thing up real good all over the place, heavy on the soap. And uh, you want to lube uh, both sides of your pipe real good because you're going to have to slide that boot all the way on to one side or the other, either up or down. But it has to go all the way up to be able to get this in there. And then I'll slide, you got to kind of tip it sideways a little bit. To get it in there and that's why you're going to leave uh you know there's a little bit of space there between the two pipes so you got room to get it in there and then slide that up halfway on each one and, and tighten it up uh plan on this thing fighting you uh that rubber boot can be um you know kind of troublesome sometimes so uh just take your time with that and then back to my inch and a half drain got my pipe in there i got some j hooks just kind of snapped onto my pipe there and just make sure you don't have any bellies in your pipe, any low spots. Just make sure it's running straight. And then I mark the top of my J-hooks uh, with a Sharpie. And then I'm going to drill a hole for a, a plastic anchor. I got my plastic anchor in the wall. And then what I'm, I'm using uh, some Tapcon uh, screws there that are kind of, um, oh, like rust prevention kind of thing. You don't want them screws rusting out on you. So... Uh, some tap cons on that, and then on the inside, uh, up on where it's going to be under this cabinet, I'm just going to put a 90 and a short stub of pipe to get into the uh, cabinet. Like I said, I, I don't know what's going on until the cabinet and the sink are here. I just know it's going to be in this corner. So i uh, got a nice long stub inside where the cabinet's going to be. Uh, so I got plenty of room. I'm, I think most of it's going to get cut off anyways. That's why I didn't put a little six inch level on that tailpiece there. Uh, most of it's probably going to get cut off anyways up under the cabinet. So uh, that's pretty much it for the rough in, um, except for uh, I'm going to mock this up for you so you can see 
the left side of that pipe would be the wall. I got a sanitary T coming off of that inside the cabinet and then a short stub of pipe and an inch and a half adapter for the uh, sink drain to go into. And then uh, the top half of that T, I'm going to put a piece of pipe with a uh, inch and a half. It's like a female adapter. It's got threads on one side up inside the cabinet uh, to receive this uh, inline vent uh, up under the sink. That's going to vent this uh, drain. Um, probably a good three to four wraps, uh, nice and tight with some uh, Teflon tape and then uh, screw it in there real tight. Uh, like I said, I'm just mocking this thing up so you can see what I'm going to do up inside this sink. Cause I know somebody's going to say, Oh, you don't have a vent, blah, blah, blah. So this is going to be up inside under the sink, um, after the fact. So I can't do that until the sink's here. So Right now, I've got everything capped off. And if you like what you see, there's some uh, uh, links to some of this stuff under the more button. And uh, hope that helps you.